too. Uh, actually, now that we're getting into anecdotes. Uh, I, I'm a professional painter, and I also teach, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to teach here. I love teaching here, and I love that Walt has given me and a handful of other students, former students, uh, sort of a home here. Um, and one of the things that I really try and get my students to understand is that when you draw and paint, you don't want to depict things the way you think that they're supposed to look. Yes. You want to actually examine them. It's funny that you do that. Let me yeah. tell you why. <laughs> like this, everybody remember that. You want to really examine them and actually depict them the way that they are, or your interpretation of the way they are. Um, and when I was in ninth grade, I thought I was the greatest artist who had ever lived. And uh, I did this, I had Miss Timmons for my teacher, and I did this self-portrait, and it was awesome. And I brought it in, and she said, we're going to go show this to Walt, you know? And it was like, I tell the story to all my students. Um, it was like going in to see the Pope. You know? so <laughs> Pope. I mean, I've been hearing about Walt for years. I never actually met him. I've been hearing about him in junior high. Everybody would say, you're so lucky you're going to have Walt Bartman as your teacher. And uh, so she marched me in there into the big kids' class, and Walt was sitting there talking about something, and I was really nervous and really excited. And uh, she goes, Walt, Walt, look at what one of my younger students, Gavin Payne. And this was his reaction. He goes, why are the whites of his eyes white? <laughs> and I learned a big lesson that day. So thank you very much. Thank you. On a related note, actually, I'm just remembering when I first met Bartman uh, when I was 15 and taking the summer landscaping painting course here at Glen Echo. That was before I took studio art with you. And, uh, I just remember the, the one piece of advice that really stuck with me, you said to me, paint what you see, not what you know. Exactly. And that has always been in, in, imprinted on my brain ever since. So I really, sure. it's been a big influence on me too. That's all. <laughs> For me, you know, one of the things I, I would say, uh, you know, about, I mean, there's a lot I can say about, about Mr. Bartman. I mean, uh, I know that I wouldn't be doing art and you know, if it wasn't for him and for you. And um, I, I know that I realized very soon after graduating from high school that I wanted to teach uh, art also. I mean, and, and that was because of your, you know, what you, you had done, basically. I mean, I saw what, you know, the way, you know, kind of the career that you had, and, and that seemed to really make sense to me. So, um, but I think, I think there is this kind of element of almost like, really risk taking it and there were some really naughty things that went on and you know I think like one of the examples of that is uh, the painting from high school that I brought in. This is like look, one of the first paintings I did with with, with Garden. Um, and you know it's this hot dogs and you know such a lot of were so alive. And you know these are real hot dogs and they sat out for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and after they they become kind of stank and you know there's the risk of like trigonosis and things like that. <laughs> Um, you know, it was just, you know, it really kind of took these risks. There was like a rooster running around. And, 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 you know, as a teacher, I, I kind of try and take risks also, but sometimes I feel like, I, I, don't, I, think, I think you took a lot, you know, you, you, were, you were just a little bit more ballsy than, than, uh, than uh, and there was that white still life that was kind of, you know, at an angle, it was like hanging from the ceiling. It, it was just, there were all these like rich, vivid memories that I think, you know, you took, you know, a, a bunch of ideas and misfit kids and, and gave, gave us a, a sense of direction. <laughs> We were not judged, and we could pursue something that we really loved and that we dreamed of. And so 
you know, people always tell me how much high school sucked, and I was like, high school is awesome. You know, because we got to go to the art room, and we could avoid whatever drama was happening in the cafeteria, which I found. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to thank you for making that home within high school for us, you know, like going and sitting, standing in the rain with Laura and, you know, driving down to River Road with Courtney and going and painting with Mike and yeah, running to Glenn's house, you know, to borrow stuff <laughs> or just take stuff, you know. Sometimes I just go into his house and just take stuff and get it back in. But I just want to thank you so much. I mean, not charging for art supplies and anything that we needed, if we needed advice or we just needed someone to talk to, like, you were always there. And I think having that connection, you know, just seeing everybody here, it's just like coming home. So I want to thank you so much for challenging us to be the best that we can be, you know, whatever path we pursue, even if we're not painting anymore. So thank you. I'll tell you, you're all in the family to me, that's for sure. You know, I mean, honestly, you're, you're more than students, you know, and I, I love seeing you. You can't ask for anything better, honestly. And I, I really am happy that, you know, for instance, Gavin and Glenn and Evan are teaching here at the, the Yellow Barn, you know, and some of you are already teaching other places, like Gavin's teaching at uh, you know, Butler University, that you have, um, Experience what it is to be a teacher, which is like it's nothing better. All right. So thank you, thank you again. Thank you. Great. Work. Yeah, yeah. Can we uh, can we get a group picture? Well, we've got everyone.